Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Our today's question is decode string. Given an encoded string, return its decoded string. The encoding rule is k and then will be given in square brackets encoded string where the encoded string inside the square brackets is being repeated exactly k times. Note that k is guaranteed to be a positive integer. You may assume that the input string is always valid, no extra white spaces, square brackets are well formed, etc. Furthermore, you may assume that the original data does not contain any digits and that digits are only for those repeat numbers k. Right? For example, there won't be an input like 3a or 2, 4. Okay. So for example, if this is the given string, so 3 represents how many times the output string should have a, like we have to, if 3 and after that whatever the string is being represented in the square brackets needs to be written to our output string that many number of times. Okay, so this is 3a, that's why we have a 3 times, then this is 2 and b and c, so we have b, c, b, c 2 times, right. Similarly, if you see this, so you have three times the whole of this and inside of that you've got an A and then 2C. So first you'll have the inner string would be ACC, which will be repeated thrice, right? That's why we have an ACC, ACC and ACC. And similarly, this one. All right. So I hope the question is clear. Uh, this clearly is a question on strings. Um, we have some set of approaches we can take to solve questions on the strings. Please have a look, pause the video and come back. So I think the, the way we can solve this is simple traversal, but of course the question demands us to keep a track of the number of times uh, a substring needs to be repeated. And then we also need to maintain a final string, right? Along with some, uh, I would say, subset string, which handles the problem at hand, right? So for example, the final string or the final resultant string would be this, but we'll also need a string which will handle just this part of it, just the 3a, right? So um, the way we need to solve this is by making use of some collections. And in such cases, uh, stacks are always a good option where you need to reference whatever was the latest work that you have done till now and then use that to basically append the new part of work that you have done to it and then again put it on the top on the top right so what we'll be doing is that we can uh, we need to maintain two stacks maybe one for the integer and one for the strings the substrings uh, and then after that once because we know that the square bracket uh, is only going to be used to embark the start and end of the string that needs to be repeated. So whenever we encounter an opening bracket, we will, whatever string we have been building till now, we will just dump it into a string stack, right? Because that is what we have created till now. And we'll take a fresh string, which will be like null, which will have nothing. And then after that, we'll just character by character start appending um, these characters to that string and then when we see a closing bracket it means that whatever was the last number we had seen so for example it will come in handy in this case right so our integer stack would have three and on top of it it will have two and when we encounter this closing bracket we'll pop two from that stack and we'll have c as our string so we'll write C twice, right? And then because we want to append to it, A would already be present as a part when we start appending this C to it. And then finally, when we move out of that, we'll have three and we'll repeat this string thrice. So, so that's how uh, I think we will do it. And I'll explain more as we go about the solution. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay. Okay. 
So as I said, we need two, two stacks here, right? One would be storing the integers, okay? Uh, so we'll just call it integer stack, okay? And another one which will be storing our string. So let's just call it string stack, ss. Sorry. Okay. Now, um, we'll just take a pointer which will point us through or move through the string, right? Each character, which is the given string s. So our representation. So we'll just take, call it pointer equals to zero. And then we'll say while pointer is less than s dot length, right? Okay. Okay. So our current character, right? So our current character is s dot character at correct okay so what we'll do is that first of all we'll check that is that a number right because we have been told that the numbers would be used only to represent the number of times and not will not be a part of the string right so we'll just check that if this is a digit right so if current is a digit then all right, we need to form a number. That the reason for doing this is because uh, it might be possible that this is not just 3a, it is 32a, right? Or it could even be 363,000a, right? So we need to form the complete number by keeping on iterating or incrementing these um, the pointer through the length of the string until we find a character which is not a digit, right? So what we'll do is, it's really simple. We have initialized this with zero and while our pointer, uh, or let's just say that while the, whatever character we are getting is a digit, right? So we'll just say that s dot char at pointer. Sorry. Okay, so while this is whatever um, character is at the pointer is still a digit we want to continue, right? Now, we'll just say that the number is equals to number into 10, okay? Plus, we want to, okay, so we just want to use this. And since this is a character, we want to convert it into a number. So we'll just subtract the character zero from it so that it gives the actual ASCII value, which will be an integer and hence the number, whatever it is, or whatever the, the digit is, right? So we just uh, do this and increment the pointer, right? So for example, if the, uh, num if the string is something like, um, let's say 32a, okay? So initially the number is zero and we get a three. So what we'll do is that zero into 10, that is zero plus three, right? After that, when two comes in, so the number is three. So three into 10 gives us 30 plus two, that gives us 32, right? So that's how we form a number, okay? Um, right. And once this is done, we want to push this to the stack, the integer stack, right? So we'll just push the number to the integer stack, okay. Okay, else, now, otherwise, if this character is equal to an opening bracket, right? So we know that there are some specific actions related to the opening and closing bracket because we know that if I am seeing an opening bracket, it is going to be starting a new string that I have to I have to start recording somewhere, right? So what I'll do is that whatever string I have been building till now would be um, pushed onto our string stack. 
so let's just say we are taking this result okay yeah so what we do is that if, if we see this first of all let's just secure whatever we have been creating so we push that to it right after that we basically are refreshing it with to make it point like have nothing because we want to record all the new characters and then just increment the pointer all right so okay now otherwise if i am seeing a closing bracket okay okay so if i'm seeing a closing bracket then it means that i have recorded a string for example in 32a my result this res string has got a right so now what i want to do is that i want to append to my final result right uh, 32 times a right and i want to get over with this so what i'll do is that i'll just create a string builder and i'll initialize it with what i had pushed onto the string stack over here right so for example if uh, if we take this simple one so it for example it is a a a so i want to append this b c twice to the a a a string and that is what i had pushed over here so i'll just initialize it with that right so i'll just do a pop so my string builder is not starting with null it is starting with a a a string right okay now to this i'll append the result string but how many times so the count we'll get it from our integer stack right so we'll just pop that so these many times so we'll just use a simple um for loop which will start from one and go till less than equal to count because it's uh, the, the number of times you want to repeat result is count right and just increment this and we keep on appending result to it yeah okay so um all right once this is done we can just increment the pointer so we don't need to do anything to this right but we we need to do one thing that we need to because in the next step when you we, we know that after this it should if the string does not end it should be getting uh, an integer right and it will go in this loop and then once when, when will it it will get a opening bracket whatever is this result it will push it and the next repetition will be appended to this right so we always after we are done with this process we need to update it to the whole string that we have been creating till now right so what we'll do is simply do right so now in this case for example this will have a a a because that is what we had started with right initialized sb with and then we added twice bc to it so this is what our result would have okay so fine and then is our last <clears throat> possibility that it could just be a character and in that case we have to do a really simple thing is that is just to add it to the result the character yeah and then increment the pointer because if if it's not an opening bracket if it's not a closing bracket if it's not a digit it means that we are traveling through one of these substrings and all we have to do at that point is keep building the result so that when we encounter a closing bracket we use that result and append it to our um, larger string the number of times it needed needs to be appended to okay so after all of this is done all we have to do is to return the result because it will contain here for example here this was ending so it should ideally contain our answer right so let's see that works
Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, that works. So the time complexity for this is O of n because we are roughly traveling the string just once. And the space complexity is also O of n because we are using two stacks to uh, however not store the whole of the string. But yeah, the worst case time complexity would be O of n in that case as well. So I hope this question really helps. It is one complicated question and involves using a bit of a trick. But if you learn this and develop uh, approach these approaches in your mind uh, when to use a stack where and how to use a string builder and how to append these so it would i think um, build a really good base so i hope you find this helpful if you do please like share and subscribe keep coding and take care guys